Interesting stories of the year. He joins us from Miami. So, you've got 10 stories. It's going to be like the Dick Clark American Bandstand Countdown. Start off with number 10. Which is it? Okay. Number 10, it starts out where you left off in the last segment with the two colonels. The Bo Bergdahl story. Uh, He was traded for five uh, Taliban commanders. We still don't know if he was AWOL or if he was a deserter because the Pentagon which conducted a survey, a a, a report, isn't telling us what they said. Maybe they'll tell us soon, maybe they won't. Number nine, the border crisis in America focusing on the tens of thousands of little children who came across the border and President Obama's uh, executive order to what in some people's view is give amnesty to uh, millions of illegal aliens. Number eight. Well, well, let me stop you. Let me stop you with that. What do you think the children's entry into the USA, 75,000 of them, says about the country. Well, it says we're incredibly generous. How's that for openers? Uh, um, Just about any other country would have turned them away. Uh, And I worry about what this will lead to. You know, I mean, yeah, I don't it's a think big story. I mean, I, just show, I think it just shows that the border is not secure, and that's that's, Absolutely. that's a pretty frightening. Absolutely. Scenario. All right, number Absolutely. eight. Number eight. Number eight is the is the missing Malaysian jetliner. Uh, terrible tragedy, but a great mystery story. Number seven, uh, President Obama's decision just yesterday to restore diplomatic uh, relations or to normalize them with Cuba after. After 50 years, that's a big deal. How's that playing in Miami where you live? Well, you know, there are two groups of Miami Cubans, the older ones and the younger ones. The older ones, like when I first came down here in 1969, the older ones would have, they would have blown things up over this. and, And they did blow things up in those days. The younger ones don't feel the same way. So, uh, the divided scenario right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, number seven, uh, no, that's number seven. Number six, Ebola, not just because of the tragic loss of lives in West Africa, but because of the the, the frightening effects it had here in America. Number five is a biggie because of its implications. Vladimir Putin and the destabilization of the Russian economy. Who knows what Putin is going to do next to try to get things right with oil prices. That will continue into 2015. Number four, another biggie, cyber terrorism. I fear that what we're seeing currently with Sony not only isn't going to be the last, I'm I'm pretty sure of that, but may wind up being trivial compared to what else some foreign power may decide to do. If they could do this with Sony and cause this much havoc, what can they do yeah. with our grid system, I, th- this our is, power system? This is emerging as one of my big stories of the year because of the uh, intensity of the destruction. And, and it's going to be interesting right. to see what uh, Congress and President Obama do. Can't allow North Korea to get away with it. You can't. So right. if they prove but it, it, but it, that they did it, then there has to be a reprisal from the USA exactly. against North Korea. Has to. Exactly. Exactly. And I, I am not trying to foment any crazy stuff. But if they decide to, to knock out our power system, for some, I mean, that's not beyond to, crazy right. people to do that or try right. to. That's an act of war. Right. That but is the big an story going forward is what will President Obama and Congress do to North Korea to send a message that if countries mess with us this way, all right, they're going to feel some pain. So it'll be interesting to see. All right, you got three more left. Go. Yep. Yeah, f- number three doesn't need much explanation. Ferguson and its aftermath. Uh, number two, the rise, that's Ferguson, and, and the aftermath is what you're watching right now. Number two is the rise of ISIS and the depravity of radical Islam, whether it's chopping off the heads of innocent people or, as the Taliban in Pakistan did just this week, killing more than 100 children in retaliation for something the kids had absolutely nothing to do with. That's depravity. And number one, because it's a political story that will affect the rest of President Obama's uh, presidency, the GOP tsunami uh, in the midterm elections this year. Okay. Um, and, and of course, Bill, of course, not only can reasonable people disagree on the list, but the order is totally 
you know, anybody can disagree with that. Okay. Um, what does Ferguson tell you about the USA? Well, I'm troubled by the liberal reaction to Ferguson. When people, and you, you, you've spoken of this quite well, when football players come out with the hands up, don't shoot, which apparently never happened, that's troubling. Because people aren't, they don't care about the facts. No. They've just made up their mind. And very simply, they've made up their mind that this is a racist country with a lot of racist cops and an innocent kid in Ferguson got killed. Now, I, it's a tragedy that he got killed, but on that day, he wasn't an innocent kid. That's for sure. All right.